In recent years, the proliferation of smart home technologies has continued to redefine our perspective on what a home should look like. Hey Siri, I'm in the showroom. Smart homes have made life easier in more ways than we can imagine. There is so much you could have never thought of, which is now possible in a smart home. A smart home is simply a convenient home setup where appliances and devices can be automatically controlled remotely from anywhere with an internet connection using a mobile or other network device. Keyword, convenience. Did you know that with the introduction of AI assistants like Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant, and Cortana, whether you have an Android or iOS phone, you can perform your daily task with little or no stress. Look at this. Hey Siri, set an alarm for 12 p.m. Label subscribe to TOS TV Network. Your subscribe to TOS TV Network alarm is set for noon tomorrow. Now imagine what you can do in your own home. Research has shown that Africa is a continent with the lowest share of smart house construction technology usage compared to other continents of the world. However, according to many, that narrative is swiftly changing. There are neighborhoods in Africa that can be compared to Beverly Hills and Bel Air residential neighborhoods abroad. Convenience and, and security is another reason why you know, um, smart homes are more or less inevitable right now. They enable you to see who's at your door, to open the door remotely, to monitor your house even when you're not around. And they also enable you to, you know, um, especially the security solution to arm your house, you know, and have sirens and, and you know, alerts on your phones. And um, safety also. We have different safety solutions embedded in the smart home solutions like the gas level sensor. The opportunity that lies in Africa and lies in Nigeria is ridiculous because we are very, very interested in brand new things. We have a history of leapfrogging when it comes to industry and industry penetration and new concepts. Um, I think in Nigeria, we've had one of the largest um, um, FDI, uh, foreign direct investments, into the tech space in recent time. Um, and that, if anything, does provide um, an indication that for anyone who is interested in um, smart home technologies or gadgets that are related to security, entertainment, convenience, um, the opportunity does exist. About 49% of millennials have um, smart home features in their homes, meaning almost half of millennials, right? And this has so far impacted in the real estate industry. People can stay at home. You don't necessarily need to come to site every day to see what's happening. Um, and then wherever you are in, in the world, you know, usually people, people would have to come during weekends or come to sites, especially when you're keen into an off-takers um, product. I believe that Nigeria is actually going far. We are actually speeding. We're making very good advancements in this sector. Um, a lot of people have been adopting this idea, a lot of people have been accepting this idea in recent times and I believe it's something that's going to grow real quick in a very short period of time. They do not just accept it, they are interested. They are uninterested in um, houses that do not have these special features. Revenue in the smart home market is projected to reach a market volume of 2.7 million US dollars by 2026. For a continent like ours, the minimum requirements for a smart house were determined depending on the level of income of a person in Africa. How many young men do you know buying houses right now? You know, I mean young men below 30, 40 that are buying houses, not so many. The structure of our economy and the way the system is structured has still not allowed the younger generation to take over the, the, the space. I mean way back we had people who ruled this country in the early 30s, you know. But right now, at 30, 35, you know, 40, you're still being fed, you know, and you know, everything's still being... So we still have that, you know, problem of affordability by the appropriate generation that appreciates the technology. 
some of the older people for reasons of maybe fear of being monitored we don't know what they're hiding you know and a couple of them also have for fear of being you know they feel like having too many gadgets around is just exposing them you know so they're a little bit scared of you know uh, going this technology way you know and for example well for some of us you know if you have google in your house or you have alexa or siri you know for whatever it takes you can monitor my voice and find out but we don't think that has anything to do with your lifestyle or poses any danger but the lots lots of the older people you know don't think so the thing that i i feel um we might not be doing enough of is market development which is enlightening and educating our people on how these things can be leveraged so compared with other solutions that you need to spend maybe half a million to a million and more so there are solutions that are are stand alone solutions that can be set up um and there are solutions that need a more holistic um uh architecture for it to be mainstream and for you to enjoy it they've lived so many years without this product and then they've lived safe safely they've been happy so why do they have to so i mean in that um regard we still need to educate people on it so far in nigeria we're still struggling and battling with um internet you know we don't have so many reliable internet service providers so that could be one thing that you know can impede um the advancement of um technology when it comes to um smart homes whether you've noticed it or not there is a gradual move by micro by google microsoft and the rest they are coming into africa they're coming to nigeria a few years ago we had zuckerberg come through they're not coming because they like africa i'm not um, i'm not trying to sound um uh, uh derogatory or funny in any way is that we present them an an interesting opportunity every other market is almost saturated the market that has been untapped or has not been tapped is africa and nigeria with 200 million people you can't go wrong in using it as a test bed for brand new technologies but with the wealth of benefits the use of a smart house construction technology brings it is beginning to move from a luxury to a necessity the advantages of this smart home features oh my god they're so numerous i mean for for the way nigeria is looking at the way our country is looking at the way our cultures are the way we would want to raise our children it's a family thing people want to know what their children are watching a lot of things have been imbued, imputed into cartoons a lot of things have been imputed into movies we want to be able to watch our children know if what movies they are seeing on netflix be able to block them on certain accounts and understand what which which air conditioner is watch um, is working in the house who is in the house when they say they are there you know this there there are cameras in the house that cover up the whole building to know if there is um, any security threats if anyone walked in or walked out now it's going to um minimize a lot of manual activity it's going to minimize a lot of gate man um with gate man quarrels here and there you look at um, the aspect of you know individual convenience and comfort you know uh for example i want to close that blind now i don't have to you know get up and go close it i could still continue doing what i'm doing and have that done from my handset or just from you know voice control hey siri close the curtains in my office got it and that's all you need to do and siri gets the job done you know we tend to look at you from three perspectives security entertainment and convenience security you're looking at issues of access control uh what allows you to get into the house um eyes around the house and your environment even when you're not at home leveraging on the internet you talk about entertainment you're looking at home theater systems sound surround systems that allow you to enjoy entertainment while you're at home um control audio either listen to audio from your phone in any of your bedrooms um move sound from one bedroom to the next move what is displayed on your tv screen from one room to the next 
And when you talk about convenience, we're now looking at how you manage um, electricity, for instance, lighting, uh, displays, controlling that either through your switches or from your electronic device. You can equally set up geofencing, wherein you're two, three kilometers away from home and your AC kicks in. It's not just about how much power you need, but how much power can you do without and still enjoy the same quality of life. So in providing successful, you know, solar-powered homes, you know, and off-grid, you know, homes, you need to introduce energy efficiency. And to achieve energy efficiency, introducing smart home makes it even easier because you can monitor your energy consumption from your handset, you can regulate your consumption, you can schedule switches, you know, and other controls. You can use temperature and weather sensors to decide when your AC should come on or go off. You don't need to waste the energy that you don't need. You can use motion sensors for spaces where you know, you're know you not permanently using and you probably just need them to be activated when you're passing by. And at the same time, you can you know uh, schedule things like your security lightings. And so smart home you know, was seen as a, an integral part of achieving you know, off-grid solutions, powering our homes uh, with solar solutions. You walk into a space and the light comes up, you walk out of that space, it goes off, saying you don't have to, you don't necessarily need to forget to turn off the light these days. When you forget, there's a system that helps you, you know, shut, you know, that component of um, lightning, which translates in costs at the same time. You're not spending so much in utilities, you know, and about... 89% of home users said they would rather pick a home that has, you know, smart home features in them. People who would usually forget their keys or would usually mis misplace their keys. You now have smart light doors system where um, you don't necessarily need to lock your doors and hide the keys. Or take, for instance, you're traveling and then someone comes to visit you. You don't have to lock your doors and then travel or lock your come back home to, you know, wait for the person who's coming to see you. From your office, you can see what's happening. You have grant the person access now, meaning you cannot misplace your keys. So if you misplace, most of these um, features have different layers to them. Your thumbprint, some have even facial recognition, some have passwords, and then some have extra keys. If you misplace the key, I mean, nothing will happen to your thumb. Say, take for instance, they chop off your thumb. You, you won't forget your password, and then your face is still the same. So all of these layers have helped people save costs you know, over the years, and I, I think it has had a very good impact on the real estate space. The automation revolution is coming, and it will continue to make our lives better if we start making changes now to adopt this new technology.